Let me introduce you to the Flare MR277. This is a three in one meter. You have a pinless moisture meter with a pin probe. You have a 160 by 120 imaging camera with MSX. And you have a thermal hygrometer. To turn on the Flare MR277, you hold the power button for up to three seconds and the FLIR logo will appear. You have the laser button for guidance. You have a built-in torch, which you need to press the button for up to two seconds to turn on. To turn off, you hold it down for another two seconds. You have an image capture button. You have the memory recall button. To bring up the menu, you press the large center button and this will bring up the menu on the screen. The three main modes with the Flare MR277 is the thermal imaging camera, the thermal hygrometer and the moisture meter. In the thermal image mode, you have three separate windows. You have the thermal MSX, where it superimposes the digital image over the thermal. You have the thermal image only, so no MSX or you have just a digital camera. To select the mode, you press the center button. You will see the display shows up to six different measurements. The top measurement is the pinless moisture. The second reading is the temperature reading based on the center cursor. The third reading is the ambient air temperature measured using the sensor. The fourth measurement reading is the relative humidity, again measured using this sensor. And the last two readings are calculated values, which include the dew point uh, dew point is a calculated value between air temperature and relative humidity. You can configure the display to show what measurements are required by pressing the center button, using the cursor to move across to measurement. So you will see there are four options. If I move to the left, I can choose no measurement and just the thermal image. I can show just a center spot, which is the center temperature. I can show just the moisture from the, the pinless pad. Or I can show a custom window custom measurement to configure the custom measurement you need to do this through the settings so enter the menu move across to the settings press enter and you will see your first option there is IGM custom if you press enter, you will see now I can select what I want to show on that window. So at the moment, all of them have been ticked. But if I don't want to show moisture, I can just press enter and that unticks it. If I don't want to show mixing ratio, I can untick that. And then by pressing back, you will now see 
the custom measurement has changed. When you're using the MR277 for building application, uh, ideally in the thermal image mode, it's not necessary to have temperature readings because at the end of the day, you're looking at color difference. So the best way of using the image mode, thermal image mode, would be to use the no measurement where when you have some water let's say on the back of a this cardboard if i want to look at the best way to use when using the mr277 in thermal imaging mode the best practice is to set up the display with no measurement. Since you're looking for color difference on a surface. Example, this cardboard here, we have some cold water on the back. And on the front, visually, we cannot see any water. But using this thermal camera of the MR277 you can see the temperature difference created by the cold water is now showing up as a purple to capture this image just press the capture button and that will save the image into memory You can use the laser button to guide you on the surface where the water damage is. So by pressing the laser, you will see a small red dot appear on the screen. And that will show you where the, the water damage is on the surface. Once you have determined a possible water damage using the thermal image mode, the next step is to use the MR277 in the moisture mode. Press the menu button and enter into the image mode. Using the cursors, move across to the moisture mode and press enter. Once you're in the moisture mode, press the menu button again and move across into moisture mode. And you will see once you're in moisture mode, to bring up the moisture menu, press the center button and move across to moisture mode. You will see now you have different options. You have the pin mode and you have the pinless mode. And you have a third option using an optional MR12, which is the ball type pinless mode. The ball type pinless mode allows you to measure in a pinless method to a depth of 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. We will use the MR277 in the pinless mode. You will see this is indicated by the white dot. So the pinless mode is a two-step process. The first step is to measure the surface where you believe it is dry to get a reference reading. So in this case, I will measure on this cardboard you will see that we're getting a reading of 2.7. This is not indicating that it's a two moisture content of 2.7%, but it's just giving you a number of 2.7 to say that dry on this cardboard surface is 2.7, 2.8.
So I'm going to move the cursor across to set my reference and I'm going to set my reference point and that becomes zero, that display, display becomes zero and there's your reference number. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the MR277 to the surface, the area where I believe it's wet. And you will start to see the reading increase. To explain this number, it's not a moisture content. It's, it's a relative moisture reading. And all it's saying is wet is now represented by 14 and dry surface is represented by zero. If I want to make a measurement of moisture content, I need to configure the MR277 in a pin mode. So I move the cursor across to the pin mode and press enter. Then you will see an option of choosing different types of groups. So depending on the type of timber you're measuring or the type of building material, you choose the appropriate group. This is all mentioned in the user manual. So in this case, I will choose group 11 for all other building material. Then I just need to plug the pin probe at the bottom of the MR277 using this RJ45. Now, what I can do is I can now put the probe on the surface if i want to use the mr277 to measure the moisture content on the surface i need to use it in pin mode by moving across into the pin mode i can press the enter button and now you will see if you move across, you've got different types of material. You can press enter and you've got up to 11 types of group depending on the type of timber, type of building material. In this case, group 10 and 11 are for building material and concrete. So I will select group 11. This is all explained in the user manual. Um, so once I press group 11, if I was to measure now the pin using the, the pin on the dry surface, you will see I'm getting zero, okay? Now if I move it across to the wet area, you will see now I'm actually reading a moisture content of 1.5%.